Other than the fact that you don't want the IRS knocking on your door, why do you pay federal income taxes? Well, here we have the federal level, the state level, and the local level. It's understood that these uh, levels of government provide certain services like defense, that's what the gun's for, and, uh, and national parks, they maintain national parks. So this happens at the state, local, and federal level. Now, at the state and local level, how do they pay for these services? Well, that's where Jim here comes in. Jim here pays taxes. And the state and local governments use that money to pay for these services. At the federal level, though, they don't actually need Jim to pay taxes because they can just print money, fiat currency. And this is how they pay, for example, defense contractors and, and uh, national park servicers. They literally just deposit money into their bank accounts. They don't require money from Jim to pay for these services. So they create money out of thin air. Now what happens when you're creating money out of thin air? The amount of money in the system, as you can see here, I'm checking it, it's increasing. While the goods and services don't increase at the same pace. And what does that cause? Inflation. So actually, by paying federal income taxes, you're taking money out of the system. And it's kind of a control on inflation. And as you can see here, it is a very good system in the sense that when the economy is doing well, the economy high here, and you're paying more income taxes, and if you're paying more income taxes, that means more money is coming out of the system. If the economy is not doing so hot, you're getting less tax revenue, and you're taking less money out of the system. So there you go. That's one reason you pay for federal income tax, to control for inflation.